Hi everyone, Paul from Buzzstream here. I want to give you a quick tour of the projects capability that's been added to Buzzstream for link management. So projects provide two things. First, it's a project serves as a workspace where you can manage a set of contacts, links, and monitors. And second, because access to the information in a project is limited to the people that are assigned to it, it provides access control capabilities. So for an agency, you might have a project for each of your clients. And for an in-house marketing group, you might create projects for each of your products or for each of the agencies that you work with. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and click on the Settings tab and take a look at how these are configured. We'll click on Settings and Projects. Now when you first enable projects, a default one is set with the same name as your group. So in this case, Agency X, and I have a project called Agency X. In that project, everything that you've added to this point is automatically associated with it. Let's click on the Buzzstream project and take a look. So you see the team members that have been associated with it and as we talked about this is, these are the only people other than the admins that will have access to this project. Now the websites this information is used by the backlink checker. Buzzstream automatically checks to see if the links that you add are linking to any of the websites that you've put into your projects. Now for flag words it works the same way. Flag words are words that denote that you may be in a bad neighborhood. And finally, if you're using monitoring, you can use the brand associations to automatically identify brand mentions. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's take a look at how this actually works by clicking on the link management tab. We're currently in the all projects view. And let's go look at a contact. Look at DMOS and you can see it's associated right now with two projects YRC Consulting and Williams Search Consultants. Let's look at it in the context of YRC. I'll click on all projects and change to YRC Consulting. Now for every contact the information in it part of it is associated with the project and part of it is associated with the link partner. The metrics and contact information will follow DMOS regardless of which projects it's associated with. All of the other information in this is associated with the project. For each project it can be assigned to a different user, it can have a different overall rating, the stage, the relationship stage can be different, you can have a different set of links, purchases, and the communication history will be different. Now if I change over to Williams Search Consulting, Consultants, different information. It hasn't been submitted yet. It's set to, not, set to not started. Overall rating is medium, different person that it's assigned to, and the link itself is different. Now for the communication history, I have two choices. One, I can look at the complete communication history across all of my projects, or I can just look at the current project. Obviously not terribly important for when you're looking at DMOS, but if you're talking to a webmaster or talking to a blogger, that becomes valuable. Now it's worth noting that it's not only easy to add a single contact to a project, it's also easy to add multiple contacts to a project or multiple contacts to multiple projects. And We'll show some of that in a second. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's take a look at this website. Let me go back here. I'm going to change the project to YRC Consulting and go to this site or this page here. There's a link to YRC on this web page. I'm going to go ahead and click the link buzz marker and add it as a contact. Okay, so I'm buzz marking this in the context of the YRC consulting project, and as you can see, it found links. Let's save it. Once I'm done, I can also click copy this link partner to another project. Now I can choose to add it. In this case, I'll add it to William Search Consultant, or I could add others if I want. And I have the option, do I just want to add the link partner, or do I want to add this link partner and this link? Now when you first add a project, it's easy to also add a set of contacts in bulk. Let's close this out. So let's go ahead and click on the Agency X project, and let's filter so that we're only look at, looking at link partners assigned to company manager. Now once I'm in this view, I can have two choices to move these into a new project. I can copy them or I can move them. If I click copy and I select a project, it's going to take all of these contacts 
and copy them over into that new project. And moving takes everything in the current project and moves it to the new project. So that about covers it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at buzzstream.com.